Okay, here's a little follow-up to my last um, little show here on the DX Engineering uh, one to one current balance. I got a set up here where I check the output of the ballon here now for uh, amplitude and phase. And I'm only doing it um, on 80 meters here over just a very short frequency range. But I'm using the Nano VNA as you can see here. And um, let me pause this. Okay, maybe you can see here. I've got. Uh, two 51 ohm resistors in parallel tied from each terminal to uh, ground and that's uh, you know simulating a 50 ohm output um, for the one to one current balance and I did a sweep of it on the nano VNA I'll show you that and then show you what the uh, a, uh, an SWR sweep and then uh, we'll take a look at the output using the dual channel scope here so QRX okay so I got um, both channels of the scope hooked up here to the uh, across the loads and um, the uh, nano VNA is the source so let me see if I can focus uh, first on the laptop screen hang on all right, so very short span here, just about 10 kilohertz wide on 80 meters to get uh, 101 point resolution across that short span. And for SWR with those little hokey uh, loads that I cobbled together, we're at 1.064 right down here where the marker is. And that's at uh, 35. 05, I think. Yeah, 3505 kilohertz. So anyway, um, pretty good as far as that goes. Certainly good enough for HF. Now let's take, see if I can focus on the scope and see the output. Okay, here's what the output looks like. Both channels. Um, and I've got the measurement function turned on and each one of them is um, fluttering between 62 and 64 millivolts peak to peak and you can see what the phase difference is there so at least on 80 meters this is a pretty good looking little device um, and it's across that way across the whole band I narrowed the uh, frequency span down quite a bit to get a uh, stable trace here but anyway that's the uh, DX engineering 1 to 1 uh, 50 ohm current bell and it looks pretty good so just a little follow-up of the uh, choking impedance videos this actually shows the output phase and amplitude relationships anyway keep tinkering See y'all later.